quote is going to be big enough for any of your purposes. The purpose of untangling your mind and renewing your ideas. What makes you think, Cave Dweller, that motivational speaking and its shorthand, the quote, are good for anything? They're too small. In order to have a real quote, you need this. This is my quote. It's all my books. All the books that I own. That is my quote. Second shelf. Using spinning around method, we're going to randomly select a book from shelf two with my eyes closed. Wait a second. All right, where? There it is. Joseph Campbell's Creative Mythology. What do you have to say to me, Joseph Campbell? Uh, Shakespeare's trio on a desert heath amid thunder, lightning, and rain conjure from their witch's cauldron prophecies that are heard as though from outside by Macbeth, yet are of deeds already maturing in his heart. Never reject the prophecy, because even though it seems to come dramatically from your exterior, from somewhere around you, it's really coming out of your own heart. The reality is already burgeoning in your heart. Rejecting the prophecy, you reject yourself. Let that be a lesson to you. In both bibliomancy, mythology, and whatever it is we're talking about here. This is why some people don't take me seriously. I just don't believe in certain things that people take for granted. Like dropping quotes out of nowhere, out of context. What was Joseph Campbell really talking about? Who cares? Just